By Medha Singh May 29, Reuters, U.S. stock markets sank more than 1% in value on Tuesday, downbeat guidance on trading from J.P. Morgan and worries over Italy putting the S&P and Dow Jones Industrial Average on track for their biggest one-day drops in a month. The political crisis in Rome, and the threat to the euro project it represents, triggered a rush to traditional safe havens like U.S. 10-year bond yields and in turn spurring losses for U.S. debt. Pulling down U.S. banks, J.P. Morgan corporate and investment bank chief Daniel Pinto drove another round of selling by saying his bank's second quarter market's revenue would be flat on the year. If sustained, the 1.7% and 1.3% falls in the Dow and the S&P, respectively, would be their biggest daily drop since April 24 and the first of more than 1% in May. The market's main measure of short-term volatility, the CBOE Volatility Index, spiked 3.9 points to 17.13 its highest since May 3rd. We ray going to see a lot more days like this. This is what 2018 is going to be like, said Jake Dollarhide, chief executive officer of Longbow Asset Management in Tulsa, Oklahoma. A DOESNT look, smell or feel like 2017 where we had no volatility, zero tension. You had 12 straight months going higher, that is unheard of. At 13.48 p.m. EDT the Dow Jones Industrial Average was down 406.82 points or 1.64%, at 24,346.27. The S&P 500 was down 34.69 points, or 1.27%, at 2,686.64. And the Nasdaq Composite was down 46.84 points, or 0.63%, at 7,387.02. 10-year Treasury notes yield fell to their lowest level since mid-April at 2.84%. Yield on the benchmark U.S. Big swings Wall Street has seen a surge in volatility since the start of February, driven by President Trump's trade attacks on China and concerns over North Korea. Those moves have slowly eased off, however, the Dow fell by more than 1% on five days in each of February and March but only three times in April. On Friday, the VIX opened at its lowest since late January, only 13 points compared to a peak of 50 hit on February 6. Still. Pinto's comments pushed J.P. Morgan shares 4.6% lower, their biggest fall since the February sell-off in other major banks followed. Shares of energy companies were also led lower by a 1.9% drop in U.S. pushing the S&P banking index down XX%. Crude futures on expectations that Saudi Arabia and Russia could pump more crude to compensate for a potential supply shortfall. ExxonMobil fell 1%, while Chevron was down 1.3%. Halliburton slipped 0.9%. When you look at lower yields and the lower energy, it's taking a real bite out of the energy complex and certainly the financial complex. Riley FBR in Boston said Art Hogan, chief market strategist at B. I don't think anything has changed in the last hour or so, but when you call into question one of the larger economies in the Eurozone and what that will mean to the stability of the Eurozone, it's certainly going to manifest itself into a larger punishment than we saw this morning. Reporting by Medha Singh in Additional Reporting by Sinead Caro in New York. Editing by Aaron Coyer.